Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Push this out of the way. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so for today's video, I thought I would talk to you about a spooky, something, a spooky encounter that I had. Um, so last night, last night I was feeling like somebody was watching me. Um, I had the same feeling the night before. I don't like that feeling. It's just like you're alone in the house, but you feel like there's something there, you know, especially when I turn off the lights. And I, I'll i go into the whole spiel about it, probably, I think I go into the whole spiel about it in the, um, in the video, but if I don't, because, okay, I had to cut the video off in different spots because I'm having bad allergies. I had to blow my nose. So I don't remember what part is where, and I'm not gonna include the first half of the video because it was just me rambling about my shirt being see-through. <laughs> so let's just recap real fast. Um, last night I felt like something was watching me, okay? Um, and it's just that feeling where I know I'm alone in the house. When I turn off the lights, I just feel like there's somebody or something there. It's a creepy ass feeling. Um, and I wasn't able to sleep that good last night because of it. I had the same feeling the night before. Um, I feel like part of it is because I'm just really missing my husband. I text him throughout the night. Um, when, you know, when he's finally in his dorm and I'm able to talk to him. So I text him at night and I'm usually telling him, oh, I miss you. I wish you were home, this and that. So I think it has partly to do with that. Like I'm just lonely, I miss him. Um, but then I also feel like it's just, I think I need to just cleanse my house. And then I was also saying, I cleansed my house last month for August, but I need to do a September cleanse. So I think I need to just do it. I think I'm gonna do a big one this weekend. Um, but I also was saying that I feel like feeling spirit is heavy right now as we are creeping closer to fall um because fall is a season when the veil the veil thins you know and we're we're coming closer to halloween time co closer to dia de los muertos um and so it's just like you feel spirit so much stronger towards the end of the year i i just i feel like that's I, like that, that's a thing you can feel spirit any time of the year but i feel like the end of the year fall into winter those are the months of like harvest and death harvest and change Har like winter is death winter is like a death month all of the plants the trees are dying it's just symbolic right um we're shedding all of that and so i just feel like naturally spirit is stronger towards the end of the year and so if you're sensitive to that stuff which i'm definitely sensitive to energy i'm definitely sensitive to emotions um, and I am sensitive to spirit. And so I feel like, um, I just, I'm feeling it stronger. And so that feeling of being watched at night, I think it's like, I feel like there's a new spirit around me and I just haven't made contact <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. Um, and I'm sure that sounds crazy to some of you guys watching because I'm pretty sure that not all of you are tarot readers <laughs> or not all of you guys connect with spirit. So I'm sorry if I sound like an, a loon, but I'm just saying like <laughs> when you're okay. So when you're in constant, you know, when you're constantly feeling your spirit guides around you, you know who they are, you know how they feel. But when there's a new spirit around, whether it's a guide or it's just like a spirit that wants to talk <laughs> or something has attached itself to me for whatever reason, um, it, it feels, it, it does. It feels like there's a stranger in the house. And that's how I've been feeling the last two days. So I didn't mention it yesterday because I, I just thought, oh, it's whatever. I was just having a weird day, but it felt, I felt it again last night. So I was like, okay, there's something, there's something up. <laughs> there's something up um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a big cleanse on my house this weekend um and i'm probably gonna pull cards on this spirit later i just don't want to do it now because it's like monday through thursday i mean tuesday through thursday is my work day my 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 day job stuff like i don't really do a lot of tarot on those days of the week but friday through friday through monday i do a lot of tarot so i think friday i'm gonna pull cards for this spirit that i'm feeling i'm <laughs> i'm gonna do a house cleanse um and hopefully you know that'll clear up the, the whole thing so because i was feeling like that last night i was like thinking oh for my video diary today 
I should share my spooky story. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do. So if you guys are interested in hearing about my spooky story, a little ghost story for you guys, um, keep on watching. Okay. I'm going to have to reapply my foundation because I've been blowing my nose like crazy. I'm, I don't think I'm sick. I think it's just, I think it's allergies and I think it's Starla's out. Like, I think I'm allergic to Starla. <laughs> so it's like when she's around me and she does have the tendency. I feel like I have a hair, like a stray hair. Oh my God. This is like bugging me. Um, Starla has a tendency. She likes to, she likes to, to lay in her litter box <laughs> And I'm trying to break her from that habit because I don't like that. Um, I think it's dirty. Um, I think it's like, like girl, use your litter box to shit in and like don't lay in it. So <laughs> I'm trying to break her from that habit, but she, for some reason she just loves to play in it. So I don't know, I think it's that. Like I think it's the mixture of like the sand from the litter and then her dander and her fur and it's just, it's just a lot. So. <laughs> It gets my allergies going, but I also have seasonal allergies. Like definitely in the spring, I have it. And I've ever since I was little, I've always been that girl where I wake up and I sneeze and I sneeze and I sneeze and I'm all, I'm all congested in the morning and then finally by midday, it's like gone. So it could be that. It could be the seasonal allergies too, like the season's changing, like we were just talking about. I don't know, but <laughs> it's not, it's just annoying. So I know everything's annoying me. I think I, I literally think I'm just having mega PMS. But where's my period? <laughs> That's another story. So anyways, mm, paranormal stuff. So I've never lived in a haunted house, but I have had little creepy experiences every, you know, from little things. So I've talked about it, like where I bought a necklace and for like a few days, like I had this, these creepy things happening and like I, I contacted the girl that I bought the necklace from. It was a crystal necklace. I asked her by any chance, are you a medium? Do you connect with spirit? And she does. So <laughs> I pretty much like I nicely told her, I don't want to sound like I'm accusing you, but um, I started experiencing this stuff and spirit after I received your per, your um, package your necklace and I go I'm not upset or anything because I know how to cleanse my stuff so it's no big deal but you know just heads up like if you don't cleanse your items before you ship them out you may want to do that because um, they're <laughs> you're you're sending your stuff to whoever right and some people not everybody knows to cleanse their stuff so it's like if they start having these weird things happening or nightmares or just, you know, and they don't understand it, that sucks, you know, that's not cool. So I just kind of gave her a, a nice little piece of advice and whether she took it or not, it was up to her. But I wasn't upset with her or anything. Like, I love the necklace, I still wear it. <laughs> <laughs> it just came with some friends you know what I mean <laughs> but now it's good like now I can wear it and the weird part is is that when I first got it I'm I, I have very sensitive skin but when I first got it like it would it sits like with, like right here like right above my cleavage and when I first got it I got a real bad rash and I was like oh, okay it's probably from the metal it's just an, it's just um, irritating my skin but I'm not kidding you guys after I let it sit on my tourmaline and I, I gave it this big cleanse um, and I cleared that space and whatnot. I don't get allergic to that necklace anymore and I'll wear it all day. <laughs> so um, I feel like it was just, it was like it had friends, like it came with some friends, you know? <laughs> so there's that, so it's just like, there. that was one little thing. Um, I had a similar situation with a deck that I obtained from a girl off of Tumblr um, and the deck she you know so she sent it to me I, I don't know if I don't remember if I purchased it or if she just sent it to me but um, it it too came with a really nasty energy and I I mean I don't want to say it was intentional because I don't know I don't want to assume but to me it's just like if you know you work with spirit 
why not cleanse your stuff before you send it to someone else, you know? I just, I don't know, I just feel like that's like common sense. And so this thing though was like a much stronger feeling. It wasn't just grandpa spirit, it was something else. <laughs> Um, so it was the demon tarot, the demon tarot, right? Um, I was still very, very new in my practice. Like I wasn't heavily involved with, I don't even think it was TCM that existed yet. I think it was my previous, um, my previous name that I went by. But <laughs> this, this feeling that I had was like, something large was in my room in my bedroom because at the time I was living at my parents house and um it just felt like like somebody or something was in my room and it was just this large I just remember it feeling like a large heavy energy and it was like I would get home from work and I would open the door into the into my parents house and the whole house felt normal nothing felt out of place and then as soon as I would like walk into my bedroom it just felt heavy <laughs> it just felt like someone was in there or I guess like the best way to explain it was it, it felt like there was a crowd of people in my room and I couldn't move around only there was nothing in my room you know what I mean so <laughs> it was just a really creepy feeling and I remember I told my husband about it we like he was we weren't living together or anything we weren't even married yet like this was a like at the very beginning of my journey um and he he got a crucifix blessed that's how that's how bad it got because I cried a lot during that week that it was happening um I had nightmares consistently so he had a crucifix blessed at the church we were attending and um and he I slept with it under my pillow and I remember at that time I was like I need to look for Michael Archangel candles like a you know because Michael the Archangel the story in the Bible is that he takes down Satan you know the devil the demons whatever and so I was like, I need, I need a candle of his to, to say prayer and light it in my room. And I'm not kidding you. I could not find a Michael Archangel candle. I went to the dollar stores. That's usually where I would buy my religious candles. And you guys know when you go to the dollar stores, like those religious candles, there's always Archangel candles, always, you know? <laughs> And I remember when I would go, I didn't find it. I couldn't find anyone. Like, there was no Michael Archangel candle. There was a guardian angel candle. There were the Mama Marys, the Jesus ones, but there was no Michael Archangel. And I, that was just so creepy to me because it's like, no, these candles are usually always around. Like you could always find them. <laughs> so the one time I really needed it, I couldn't find it. So then um, I ended up opting for just a guardian angel candle and I, prayed on it I set my intention with it I lit it I had to keep a candle consistently going in my room for probably like this whole experience happened lasted at least two weeks before I felt like it was cleared out um and the hard part dealing with it was I was living I was living at my parents house so I couldn't really like light sage or like light incense and just like you know smoke cleanse I couldn't do that because they would smell it and then they would be like, what are you doing? So I was going based off of prayer. Um, I was anointing my doorways, the windows and stuff. Um, and then I was going based off of candles and, and just like prayer. Um, and <laughs> during that time when um, I, had a, I had a little angel statue, like a tiny little angel statue that, um, that was gifted to me when I was a baby. And I still have it because it was mine. Like my mom told me the whole story about it. So anyway, Mm. I would keep that angel on my um on my dresser and there was a couple times where my husband came over because he would always you know he would come over and have my boyfriend over right and I would notice that my little angel statue was turned around facing the wall <laughs> so I would ask him why do you keep doing that like stop stop turning my little angel around he's like what are you talking about I go you're not doing that? And he goes, no. 
I go, seriously, if you're like messing with me right now because of like everything that's happening, like stop. And he goes, no, I'm not doing that. And I'm like, oh my God. Because I remember it was facing the wall. I turned it back facing outward. And I remember I had to do it a second time. And that's when I confronted him about it. Because I, I thought he was doing it. I thought he was like trying to scare me because of what, everything that was going on. And I'm not, I'm not kidding you guys. Like that was happening and I was having nightmares consistently. So I was crying a lot. I was like feeling really depressed. I was having a lot of nightmares every single night. I had a nightmare and that's when he blessed the, he had the crucifix blessed and I was sleeping with it under my pillow because it just got to the point where it was starting to scare me. Um, and I was freaking out because I was just like, this is happening in my parents' house. What is, like, what if it's happening to them? And they were fine. Like they were, it was like, they, they had no, it was like, they had no idea. Like they were completely, it wasn't affecting them. It was just me. <laughs> so needless to say, I only took that deck out once. Um, and when I initially had that feeling, I remember I put the deck back in the packaging and I think I threw it out um, because I didn't know what to do with it. Like uh, now, now being a little bit more informed on this stuff, I probably would have taken it and buried it under the ground somewhere. But at that time I didn't know. So I, I tossed it in the dumpster <laughs> and it's in some landfill somewhere. Probably the best thing ever because that so there was something attached to that. Um, but <laughs> the vibration that I was feeling in the room, the nightmares, the heaviest, all of that, it lasted for a good two weeks. Um, I consistently had my guardian angel candle. I eventually found a Michael Archangel candle. So I had that lit. I was saying prayers. It just happened really quickly just by opening the deck, but it was a consistency like for two weeks. And then finally... I remember I walked up back into my bedroom and I noticed the it was like nothing ever happened. <laughs> like the energy in the room was completely back to normal. Like it was it just felt open, it felt soft, light. Like I guess those are the best words to to describe it. And um that heavy feeling, that feeling of something was looking at me or watching me was gone. So, last night, feeling of something was watching me was kind of creeping me out because I was worried that it was something like that again. But I haven't done or brought anything home out of the ordinary that would make me feel that way. I haven't had any guests over the house that would, like, bring something. <laughs> but... So it could just simply be negative energy. But it was very, it was a creepy, that was a creepy experience. Um, my, and, 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 you know, it wasn't the deck. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like because it was a demon tarot. It wasn't that. And although some people would probably say, well, it was a demon tarot, so duh. But it was the energy with the deck. So that person, maybe they dabbled in darker stuff. Or that person, maybe they had some, they were dealing with some things and it just, whatever was attached to them came with the deck. Or it's just, or it was bad intention. I don't know. I don't talk to that person. I haven't spoken to that person in a while. Um, it was the creepy part. I just saw 333 on my, on my phone. <laughs> anyway, um, I haven't talked to that person um, since pretty much. Like I, you know. So I don't know. I don't know what their story was. I never approached them about it. I never told them about it. Um, and I never told them that I threw the deck away because I just, I was so afraid of being offensive. But then at the same time, it was like, well, I'm offended because it's like, you sent me something that gave me this, you know? So I don't know. It's just a, t it's like a sensitive subject, but, <laughs> um, but that's what I was feeling last night was like that feeling of something was watching me. And so moral of the story is if you buy something used off somebody, do not always assume that they are going to cleanse it for you. Okay. So if you know how to cleanse things, do yourself a favor and cleanse it. 
when you get it. You know what I mean? But you just never know. <laughs> you just never know. Now, if you're not sensitive to that stuff, then to you, you might just be like having a, you're just like, oh, I'm having a string of bad days or why do I feel so different? Or why do I feel so depressed? Or whatever. <laughs> so maybe you won't, you won't really like make that connection of your vibe being low is because of something that someone sent to you versus like, it's just a bad day, you know? So that's the, th that's the tricky part because sometimes it's like, I guess it's all on how you look at it. But I knew for a fact <laughs> when I opened that package, something was there, you know? I mean, it was really hard to ignore. So that's my creepy story, you guys. Um, that literally happened a long time ago. Like, that was the very beginning of my journey. Um, it was so creepy. It was the creepiest feeling ever. But it also taught me to be aware. Um, it taught me to be aware. It taught me to be smart, like, to you know, to cleanse my stuff. <laughs> and then also to face fears, you know, because it's like, if you're going to be afraid of that stuff, then you really have no business dabbling in card reading and spirit work and all of that. Because it's like, that stuff is very real too, you know? Um, so it, it, to me, it's kind of like, I wanted to face the fear. So what I ended up doing was, um, I was at Barnes and Noble always at Barnes and Noble and um the demon tarot was on the shelf and I was like and my husband was with me and I remember <laughs> I looked at him I was like I want to buy this and he goes no no not not after what you went through and I go no I, I want to buy it and he was like why would you do that again to yourself like why and I go because it's not the deck itself it's it was the vibration the energy that came with this person you know the person who sent it to me and so I was explaining that to him and I'm like, I buy decks all the time. That stuff doesn't happen. And so I go, plus it's brand new, it's shrink wrapped. It's a brand new deck, you know, obviously I still cleanse my decks brand new or not, but I go, I'm gonna buy it because I do not wanna be afraid of this particular deck simply because of what happened. So I bought it, he was not happy with me about it. And I, I took it home, I opened it and it was just, fine it was completely fine it was clean there was nothing attached to it <laughs> i still own it um i threw out the box which i regret because the box is so pretty it's like this red like this red color and i threw the box out i'm so stupid that was i was going through a phase of like putting all of my decks in bags so i would throw the boxes out and i'm so pissed at myself for doing that because i wish i still had the box but, um, and I use it, I work with it. So, and it's going to be one of the decks that I read with in these Halloween readings. Um, but I wanted to prove to myself that it wasn't the deck. I didn't want to be afraid of that particular deck because of that experience. So I own a copy of the Demon Tarot. No, it was not the deck itself. Um, and no, the energies weren't there. It wasn't a negative, you know, a negative experience. Again, nothing like that. It was simply like opening a brand new deck. So I, it, that just proved to me that, you know, energies of people, it's real. Like if you, <coughs> if you do spirit work and you connect with spirit and you're not cleansing your space, you're not cleansing your home, you have constant bad energy, you have like random ass people come into your house and you never cleanse the space, you probably are infested. <laughs> with spirit so just be careful you guys when you buy stuff used from people be very careful what you buy or not what you buy but be care very careful of how it feels when you're opening the package because sometimes it'll you'll feel it you'll feel the difference and if you feel the difference trust yourself you know Everyone will have an opinion of, oh, that's not, the, that's not the right way to get rid of that energy or whatever. I'm one of those people where there's more than one way to do something. And there's more than one way to cleanse an item, right? There's more than one way to, to banish a spirit from your house. There's more than one way to do a lot of things. So I'm not one of those people that says, oh, you have to do this and you have to do it this way and this long and say this many things, blah, 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 blah. Mm-mm. I do it my own way. 
I do it what intuitively feels natural to me. And it worked. That feeling went away and I, it never came back. So until today, until last night. <laughs> but that's something else. That's something different. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to put in a spooky story for you because why not? We're creeping to the fall season. So why not talk something spooky? Um, but anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video because it's a little bit long now. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye loves. Oh, also leave comments below and tell me if you've had any spooky, scary encounters. I want to hear it. So leave me some comments and tell me your stories because I want to know. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye loves.